Earth was formed 4.5 billion years ago. Life started as simple bacteria, but further evolved into more complex organisms. Evolution finally led to the creation of humans, who eventually became the most important occupant of the planet. Humans rapidly developed and occupied most of the Earth's surface. The current human population amounts to more than 7 billion people. Humans can be distinguished from other animals by a combination of typical skills, such as sociability, problem-solving, culture, language and technology. All of these skills allow humans to understand, learn, create and build advanced tools. Human history includes several important steps. It started 2.8 million years ago with the prehistoric era, progressed through the Middle Ages which quickly evolved into the modern age, where science and technology are important. Fossil fuels are one of the most important discoveries made by mankind. Humans recently learned to rely on fossil fuels to obtain energy and materials. Nowadays, around 100 million barrels of crude oil are consumed every day to meet our requirements. Coal and oil are the main sources of energy and chemicals, but the smoke released by burning fossil fuels creates air pollution. 30 billion tons of carbon dioxide are released into the atmosphere each year. This leads to climate change through global warming, which affects many Earth balances such as oxygen generation. Global warming also induces ice to melt, causing sea levels to rise and threatening life. Furthermore, the depletion and unequal distribution of fossil fuel reserves can bring conflicts around the world. Moving to a sustainable energy source is essential for the future. Use of renewable resources such as a bio-based system appears as a promising solution. Compared to other renewable energy solutions such as solar and wind, biomass shows a great potential because it can be used for both energy production and the formation of valuable platform chemicals. Lignocellulosic biomass, which includes mainly trees and herbaceous plants, can be converted to fuels, chemicals and materials as a renewable alternative to oil-based products. However, the conversion of this renewable resource is a key challenge for scientific researchers. This is the role of CatchBio. CatchBio is a collaboration of 21 academic and industrial partners in the Netherlands. The principal aim is to process the various biomass components into fuels, chemicals and pharmaceuticals to meet future requirements. One critical question could be what about deforestation if we use biomass to produce energy? As we said, the CatchBio program focuses on the development of a bio-based system where biomass is used to produce energy and materials. Carbon dioxide and other wastes are reintroduced into the system to minimize the environmental impact. One of the CatchBio goals is to take into account each potential impact induced by the utilization of biomass resources. Lignocellulosic biomass is composed of two major components, sugars and lignin. Lignin is one of the main constituents of the cell walls of almost all dry plants and is potentially available in large quantities. Lignin is a waste product from pulping processes. Approximately 50 million tons of lignin are extracted from wood each year. However, existing markets for lignin products remain limited and focus on low-value products or inefficient energy production by burning. 98% of extracted lignin are burned as a source of energy. In a bio-based economy, it appears necessary to develop more efficient routes to convert lignin into fuels and chemicals. In lignocellulosic plant cell walls, lignin fills the spaces between the sugar skeleton, mainly cellulose fibers, like a resin that acts as the essential glue to ensure the structural integrity, strength and rigidity of the plant. Lignin is a complex aromatic polymer that makes lignin a renewable resource of aromatics and its valorization into fuels and materials is critical for the substitution of fossil fuels. According to the CatchBio program, one of the main aims for the valorization of lignin is to first depolymerize it into upgraded bio oil which can be used for the production of fuels and materials. 
With the appropriate catalytic conversion and reaction conditions, lignin could be an interesting substrate in the development of an economically reliable bio-based economy. By screening different catalysts over an extensive parameter space, Catch Bio researchers have increased the knowledge about the catalytic conversion of lignin. Based on this knowledge, the next step is to attain selective conversion for targeted products. A catalyst is a substance that makes reactions faster and easier. It could be associated as a chemical shortcut. The development of this kind of substance is essential to improve economic feasibility of a biorefinery system. The concept of biorefinery can be applied to the waste generated from industries such as pulp and paper from forestry, wood waste from construction industries and food and farming waste. In the near future, chemicals obtained from the biorefinery concept can be used for target applications. Catch Bio contributes to improve scientific knowledge about biomass valorization and therefore improvement of green technology. Tomorrow, people will be able to use fuel, plastics, polymers and drugs made by green chemistry in view of a bio-based economy and renewable system. If technology becomes green, products become green and society becomes more green.